Bisphenol A, commonly abbreviated as BPA, is a chemical that has been used for more than 50 years in the production of plastic and epoxy resins, which are found in paint and in the lining of canned food and beverage products. It is used in plastic for food and beverage containers, CDs, DVDs, sports equipment, cars, and thousands of other products. It can also be found in refrigerator shelving, water pipes and flooring. So many products use BPA in their production, that 2.8 million tons of it was produced in 2002. The chemical mimics the hormone estrogen, and studies have implicated it in reproductive and developmental defects including abnormalities of the brain and prostate. Hormone disrupting effects have been shown to occur at levels of application as low as 2 to 5 parts per billion, and many canned foods are within and over this range. The National Institutes of Health has also expressed concern that bisphenol A might lead to behavioral changes in children and infants. Research by scientists at Simon Fraser University, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and Cincinnati Children's Hospital, found a possible link between prenatal BPA exposure and behavior problems in young girls. For the study, BPA concentrations were measured from urine samples taken from 249 pregnant women. When the children were two years old, the research team assessed their behavior using the Behavioral Assessment System for Children 2, BAS 2. What they found is disturbing if a woman was exposed to BPA during early pregnancy, and she had a girl, the baby's nervous system might be adversely affected by the chemical. Women with higher concentrations of BPA were more likely to have daughters with aggressive and hyperactive behaviors. Researchers from the Peninsula Medical School at the University of Exeter in the UK studied urinary BPA concentrations and found a significantly strong link between BPA exposure and heart disease. They also discovered that higher urinary BPA concentrations were associated with a long list of medical problems in adults, including liver dysfunction, diabetes and obesity. The chemical has also been found to produce neurological problems in monkeys in a study conducted by researchers from Yale School of Medicine, and published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The researchers exposed monkeys to BPA levels that the Environmental Protection Agency has ruled safe for humans. The monkeys went on to develop mood disorders and irregular brain function. Frederick Von Sol of the University of Missouri, Columbia noted that numerous animal studies have linked BPA to behavioral changes, such as ADHD or altered play, and to sex problems such as decreased sperm count, feminization of males, and prostate cancer. Impairment and unnatural changes to sex organs in their functions, increased tumor formation, and signs of early puberty, has also been observed. The Kaiser Permanente research followed 230 Chinese men who were exposed to BPA in their workplace for five years and compared them to 404 others who worked in a factory where no BPA was present. The results were dramatic. The men working in facilities where they were exposed to BPA had four times the risk of erectile dysfunction and seven times more risk of difficulties with ejaculation. The BPA exposed men had also had dramatically decreased sexual desire and overall less satisfaction with their sex life. A study published online in the journal Biology of Reproduction further reveals the disruptive nature of BPA and gene expression. According to the data, pregnant mice exposed to BPA experienced significant genetic changes in their fetal ovaries, indicating that the next generation of their offspring will likely be born with serious genetic defects. BPA also disrupts other normal cell cycle functions and DNA replication, which researchers say can potentially shorten the reproductive lifespan of females. What makes BPA particularly dangerous is the fact that very low levels of exposure to it can cause significant harm. According to reports, there have already been more than 200 studies conducted about BPA's dangers, many of which implicate the chemical as being highly dangerous even at extremely low levels. BPA damages the intestines and may lead to a painful condition known as leaky gut syndrome, according to a study conducted by researchers from the National Institute of Agronomic Research in Toulouse, France. In the study, researchers exposed both living rats and human intestinal cells to a dose of BPA, ten times lower than currently considered safe by most governments. People with leaky gut syndrome often experience abdominal pain, digestive upset, rashes, hampered immune function and chronic muscle pain. Damage to the intestinal lining can cause poor nutrient absorption, 
leading to vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Researchers at the Environmental Working Group tested BPA levels in 28 different types of canned food from three different states and found widespread contamination from all types of foods. The most disturbing finding was the high levels of BPA in infant formula. An infant that is fed canned formula with polycarbonate bottles can take in up to 13 parts per billion per day of BPA. Kosuko Saido, PhD of Nihon University in Chiba, Japan, and his colleagues announced startling and worrisome findings at a meeting of the American Chemical Society. He stated that there is a massive BPA contamination of the oceans, which is the result of hard plastic trash thrown in the seas, as well as from the epoxy plastic paints used to seal the hulls of ships. The scientists noted that light, white foam plastic decomposed rapidly at temperatures commonly found in the oceans, releasing the endocrine disruptor bisphenol A. Dr. Saito's research team analyzed sand and seawater from over 200 sites in 20 countries, including areas in Southeast Asia and North America. Every site tested contained what Dr. Saito labeled as significant amounts of BPA, ranging from 0.01 parts per million to 50 parts per million. Dr. Saito pointed out that littering currently results in about 150,000 tons of plastic debris, washing up on the shores of Japan alone each year. In addition, a huge area of plastic waste known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is about two times the size of Texas now contaminates the area between California and Hawaii. But plastics and their additives such as BPA aren't only around us, they are inside virtually every human. The chemicals show up in blood and urine tests because they are ingested with the food, the water and from other environmental exposures. A study by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention discovered that about 93% of the United States population have bisphenol A in their body, at a median concentration of 2.7 parts per billion. BPA have been known to be toxic for 75 years. It's polluting the bodies of almost all Americans, but is allowed in the food at levels that leave no margin of safety for pregnant women and young children. The plastics industry are programming the hormonal response of the next generation, and the worst effects may not become apparent for years.